In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most popular Blender add-ons for hard surface modeling, and the add-on is Mesh Machine. And Mesh Machine is a Blender mesh modeling add-on with a focus on hard surface work without subdivision surface. The add-on offers tools for chamfers and fillets, plugs, booleans, stashes, normals, selections, and more. Now for the video, we are going to talk about some of the best tools that the add-on offers. So without further ado, let's get started. Booleans Mesh Machine provides a quick way to add Boolean modifiers as well as apply them. If you apply Boolean modifiers this way, Mesh Machine will automatically create stashes from the apparent objects. Version 0.8 of Mesh Machine introduced the split Boolean mode which is an addition to setting up the boolean modifiers also creates a duplicate of the active object to create the second and split away parts splitting will leave the object meshes as well as the cutter meshes as instances the boolean cleanup tool is used to merge vertices at intersection of boolean operations it does that by sorting vertices according to the edges on each side often with boolean operation you want to maintain the vertices from one of the operators and merge the other vertices to those. Change Width Using the Change Width tool, you can adjust the width of an existing chamfer. Usually that can only be done by manually sliding the edges of a chamfer. The Change Width tool simplifies that process. Fuse The Fuse tool is the centerpiece of Mesh Machine's chamfer and fillet toolsets. Its purpose is to create rounded surfaces from chamfers or flat bevels. One of the benefits of this is the ability to create variable fillets as well as washouts. Unfuse and Refuse Unfuse turns the curved surface created by fuse or the bevel and bridge tools into a chamfer and Refuse is a quick way to run the Unfuse tool followed immediately by the Fuse tool. For all practical purposes, this enables you to edit existing fuse or bevel or bridge surfaces. The Chamfer tool is used to create a chamfer or flat bevel at the intersection of Boolean operators. It is not as general like Blender bevel tool is. Chamfer can deal with tricky geometry overlap and significantly reduce manual cleanup work as a result of those overlaps. It also has independent per side loop slide properties. Flatten tool Using the flatten tool, you can flatten a single or multiple polygons and you can flatten in two modes along edges or along normals. Turn corners The turn corners tool is used to redirect the flow of a chamfer. Real mirror the Real Mirror tool is used to turn the results of the mirror modifier into a real geometry. This is done for two main reasons. To get a proper origin for the mirror part, so object-based texturing works as expected, and to mirror custom normals. L-Select The L-Select tool found in the Select submenu is used to loop select edges based on a minimum angle parameter. This can produce much better results compared to Blender native loop select, which is aimed at loop selecting all quads topologies. S Select The S Select tool found again in the Select submenu is used to select all connected sharp edges. Sharp selecting can be easier than loop selecting if the edge loop is marked sharp already. The V Select the V-Select tool also found in the Select submenu can be used to quickly select geometry based on the vertex group membership. The Plug tool is used to quickly add prepared details to a model. Plugs in Mesh Machine are partial meshes that can be quickly integrated into the surface of a model. It's helpful to understand that Mesh Machine achieves this not via booleans but via what is called by the creator face replacement. This has a number of advantages but also limitations. For instance, you can't use a plug to punch through an object as you can do with boolean. 
plugs only affect a limited area on one surface on one side of the model. Also, plugs going across a hard surface break are generally not a good idea where plugs excel is on curved surfaces where a degree of deformation is required in combination with normal transfers. Plugs can create flawless detailing on curved surfaces which is otherwise hard or impossible to do with other tools. Advanced Plug Creation Plugs can consist of more component than just the plug mesh. You can add the plug handle and the plug subsets. For instance, you can add a deformer which is a support object that unlock an alternative deformation approach usually producing better results. Stashes Stashes can be thought of as a backup of objects. These backups can then be brought back at any time or referenced or used by other tools such as conform or normal transfer. Slash objects do not clutter your scene because they don't exist in any scene. They are only stored in the Blender file itself. The create stash tool is used to create a stash either from the currently active object or if multiple objects are selected to the active object. Orphan stashes. Orphan stashes are stashes that are no longer referenced by any scene objects. Removing stashes from an object or deleting the object itself will not remove the previous stash objects. Instead, they can still be viewed and retrieved using the View Orphan Stashes tool. The View Orphan Stashes tool then is essential, the same as the View Stashes tool, although it's a bit more limited. The normal flatten tool is similar to Blender set normals from faces tool. Both set normals based on face selection and so flatten the shading. The difference is normal flatten respects the presence of sharp edges and can also be used with an angle threshold. The normal clear tool can be used to selectively clear custom normals. This is different from Blender clear customs and split normals data which clears the entire models. Now not all of the tools were covered on this video. The add-on has tons of features that you can check out on the add-on documentation or you can check how to use every single feature or tool that the add-on offers on Machine 3 YouTube channel provided by the creator of the add-on. The add-on is always maintained with new updates and bug fixes and new features are added to it. Now if you want to check out the add-on link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.